Hello everyone, I'm here to draw the Sticks of Fate for the Pick a Stick Challenge for September 2019. I've got my bucket of sticks and I've got my blanks to write them out on, so let's go. Okay, to start out with I need a yellow stick. So here's a yellow stick. Oh, I always forget I need something to put them in. <laughs> my blue stick. I need a blue stick. I need two greens. Now if I pick any that have already been picked before I'll restart or you know I'll throw that one away and get a different one because I know they're not pulled out of here. Mix them up a little bit. I need two orange sticks. I need two purple sticks. And I need two reds. Put some from the bottom. This one. Okay, there's my sticks. Hopefully there's not any repeats. So my favorite things are the colors. So let's pull those purple ones out first. And we have Periwinkle, which is kind of a bluish light purple and blue. Blue is pretty generic. You could pretty much make that any color you want. Um, let's see what I have that I can show the color with. Periwinkle. I don't have a marker of it, something like that. Maybe. I just don't know which one. Maybe this one. Now look at this color and then look at what it says it is on the mark on the top of the marker and you can see why these frustrate me so much. Let's try to get this down in that series though. It's still so very lavender, but it's close. Um maybe we can try yeah. Nope, not at all. What else do I have? I don't know. We'll go with this one. Which isn't exactly the color I'm thinking of, but I will be in the graphics, I will be fixing it so we get a better color in the graphics. And then blue, blue can be so many colors, just blue. Let's see what color this is. It's a darker blue, but it'd probably work. Blue. So those are the colors for the month. Then let me just draw. I can't see what I'm drawing. Let's draw the steps in order. Remember, with the pick a stick challenge, you do the six steps and you do them in order. If you don't like one of these six steps, there's two wild cards in which you can replace. And then the colors are optional, although I like to use them myself because I think it's a challenge. The colors are optional. Those are the only rules. So I can't see what I'm picking. First step is carve. I don't think we've had that one yet this year. Um, you could carve yourself a stamp. You could carve something out of the styrofoam and then use it as a background pattern. You could uh, use a piece of carved wood and roll it on the paper. 
with some ink to make a pattern. You know, be creative. Next one is emboss. That could be heat embossing with embossing powder that melts, or it could be an embossing paste. Uh, there's like some uh, pastes out there that you put through a stencil to make a raise. To, to emboss makes is to mean to make raised from the paper. Another option is embossing folders that you put you put your paper inside and you press it, and then that makes a raised image. Um, that's emboss. There's other ways to do it. You could use, um, what's that stuff called? Spackling paste or drywall paste. Uh, the stuff that you use to fix drywalls, you could put that through a stencil. You could just put that on your paper and write and scratch into it with a, with a stick. And that would make it, it's just make something that's raised up off of the paper. You can tell it's early. I'm, I'm barely speaking at this point. Uh, step three is dog. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that these two are going to be a background and maybe you have a foreground of a dog. Could be any type of dog, doesn't matter. Last month we had fish and everyone thought that was a great one. So last month people really did participate and I was happy to see that because we get really tired of doing it when people don't participate. Next step is spritz. Spritz, for those of you who don't mean, don't uh, speak English as a first language, means spray, basically. So if you have some ink spray, you could spritz it. You could spritz it with water, uh, just, you know, whatever. Some, some, some sort, of, sort of a splashing of liquid on there. Spritz it with alcohol, uh, whatever. It just means basically spray. I have these, this little little mini mister that has alcohol in it, and that makes interesting effects. You could put some watercolor in a little, you know, a reused bottle and, and spritz it. That's all it means. Step six is drip. Looks like we're getting some fun, wet techniques. Dripping, you can drip paint, you can drip ink, you could just drip it onto the paper, you can drip it down the paper and let it run in the rivlet, rivets, riv, that's not right, rivlets, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's really early. <laughs> just let it run down the paper. Um, you could flick a paintbrush and add drips, splatters, things like that. And the last one is beautiful. Beautiful. So make it beautiful somehow, whatever that means to you. So then the wild cards are oil and knife. Knife being cutting something. Um, using a knife for something, spreading or cutting. It could be a palette knife to spread something, or it could be, uh, you know, this kind of knife to cut something out with. And oil, that could be using baby oil on your um, gel plate to clean it. That could be using an oil stick or an oil crayon or oil paint you choose and those are to replace any of these that you don't like so that's our art journal page challenge let's put all these back in and we'll do you to alter tag challenge this one has four steps in order and a wild card if you don't like one of them and then a color. So let's find out from a distance. I can only see the top of the stick. What color we're going to have? Periwinkle. Periwinkle. 
and that like I said is a bluish purple this one's a little bit too too red but it's something kind of like this I will fix it later someone's texting me and then the steps are beautiful That's really, really up to interpretation. Anybody can think something is beautiful that someone else doesn't think is beautiful and whatever. You could, you could make, if you think a face is beautiful, you could make a beautiful face. Um, a tree is beautiful, you could make that. Whatever you want. Oh, I should have taken that out. Next one is Spritz. Next one is knife. And the last one is carve. It's kind of funny. Knife and carve are a little bit similar, so you could probably double those up. And then the last one is. dog. <laughs> you can make a beautiful dog if you want to. So that's the tag. Challenge and then the last challenge if the alcohol marker came through on my graphics which is kind of gross. Let's put all these back in. Find a purple one. This time it's blue. Now blue could be because it's such a generic name. Could be any color. It doesn't have to be this this royal blue. It could be light blue. It could be sky blue. It could be robin's egg blue. Tiffany blue. Whatever blue you want to do. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know. It. All right. Let's go with. Dog. Drip. Knife. Knife really wants to come up. <laughs> what does that mean, people? What does it mean? And the wild card is emboss. So you can use emboss instead of one of these if you want to. So that's it for the challenge for. September 2019. I'm going to put all these in my other container that has the ones that have been used. And they will not be used again. Thanks, guys. I hope to see your art in the Pick Stick Challenge Facebook group. Bye-bye. Oh, and Peg and I's um, art journal pages will be out on the first Friday of the month. So in a few days. Again, bye. <laughs>